Welcome back to Athens, Georgia, home of the University of Georgia Gym Dogs. I'm Melissa Moscow alongside Corey Fritzinger. Georgia leading the way after two rotations. Here is Hillary Morrow starting things off on the balance beam. A sophomore from Boston, Massachusetts. Hillary starts with a handspring layout step out as her flight series, a requirement that every gymnast must have in their routine. Now going into her front aerial to straddle jump, a very difficult move with a blind landing. She earned second team All-American honors on this event last year. She has a very difficult move coming up right here. Big front tuck. Unfortunately has a little bit of a wobble. Actually see it on her face that that's not exactly the landing she wanted to have. Georgia overall has done very well on this event this year. They're actually number one in the nation right now on bars, beam, and floor. Third on the vault. Beam is an event that, um, like we have said before, can make or break a championship. So most teams tend to spend more time on that event, ending with a round off double full, stuck the landing. And, you know, when you have that one little mistake in your routine, you just, that's all you can think about is how much higher your score could have been. 9825. A decent start, but not the one that Hillary was looking for. Her best score ever on the beam was a 985. Back over to floor, we have Michigan's Jordan Sexton. Jordan is from North Carolina. She did not really compete on the floor in 2008. She injured herself in 2007 and was lost for the year in performing her floor exercise. She started off today with a big one, two and a half twist, excuse me. Um, great start, very clean. Just does a little bit of dance and going into her second pass. A one and a half to a punch front layout. You know, when you have an, a season ending injury like she had last year, it's um, very difficult to come back sometimes. And usually most girls just come back on possibly bars or the balance beam. But I'm sure she's excited to be in this floor lineup for Michigan. and helping the team out. Balance beam is actually one of her big strengths for the University of Michigan. She won one balance beam title in 2008. Here's her last pass, a front handspring front full to a punch front pike, and a very clean routine. Here's another look at her first pass. Scoring a 9.825, so exact same thing that we saw from Hillary Morrow over on Beam for Georgia. Back over to the balance beam, we have Paige Burns, a senior from St. Cloud, Florida. Paige actually has um, really stepped up in her senior year. Um, didn't compete Beam much um, her first three years at Georgia and has been a constant in the lineup this year. She'll start with flight series, handspring, layout, step out. Very clean. She should remember her 2008 season. She had an emergency appendectomy on New Year's Eve. <laughs> I'm sure she'll never forget that one. And she came back two weeks later for Georgia. I know, and that's actually an injury that, I guess you could call it an injury, that I would think would take much more time to recover from. Just saw her do a switch leap to a shadow jump. Unfortunately, had to stop in between both moves, so that will take out a little bit of um, her bonus. But here, cat leap to a torchette, so that can also be counted as a leap pass. So she still does get credit for having the requirement, but unfortunately is going to have a deduction for not connecting the other one. She has been an outstanding student while at Georgia in the classroom. Ending with a round off double full and sticking her dismount. So unfortunately with that switch leap straddle jump, that could have been a very big score for Paige. Is that why the 955? They definitely, as we say in the gymnastics world, destroyed her on not connecting that leap pass. Back over to floor, we have Sarah Curtis, a junior from Reno, Nevada. She was part of the Big Ten first team in 2008. Starts with a huge full in.
she's had huge success on the uneven bars for Michigan. And you will see a lot of girls on the floor tonight for Michigan who don't normally compete. They really have had a lot of issues with injuries this year. They don't have a lot of depth. They're saying that this is probably one of their biggest rebuilding years. Um, getting the younger girls in the lineup and getting them to have some experience. Um, but then, you know, you do have your juniors like Sarah who have the experience and can help the freshmen and the sophomores kind of get the jitters out and realize that it is all about the big picture and making it to nationals and seeing where you can finish in the postseason. But don't think about that right now. Right now we're competing against Georgia and we have to put up a big score. Her biggest score on the floor was a 9925, and she's had her share of injuries as well. She tore her Achilles back in 2007, a tough injury. Courtney Kupetz knows all about coming back from that particular type of injury. Finished her routine with a double back, so a really jam-packed routine with the full in first pass, front layout, front full second, and then ending with the double tuck. So um, a great floor routine, 9875, good score. I would say Michigan has looked the best on the bars tonight. Back over to Bean, here is Grace Taylor, who is always a joy to watch on this event. Her flexibility on this event, she shows it off, and um, just she really loves to dance and loves to perform. And you can really see that on this event. She starts with a one arm back handspring to a layout two feet. She's a junior from Aiken, South Carolina, and of course the reigning NCAA beam champion from a year ago. There's a full turn with her leg at horizontal to a gainer layout. She was also a first team All-American. I'm sure she's hoping to repeat her success as we head into the SECs and NCAAs. Switch leap, shadow jump. So far a very solid routine for Grace. You know, after um, Pages 955, you know, you really, you see that you have to um, put up a big score for your team. Front aerial, back layout, very difficult combination. Just the diff dismount left, and so far, I mean, an absolutely gorgeous routine from Grace. Handspring, handspring, double full and a stuck landing. She knows it was good. <laughs> that was near perfect, that if not a, perfect. That was a gorgeous, gorgeous routine. Fans want a big score, very loud in here right now. Suzanne loved it too. They're chanting the it. In the back. <laughs> They're chanting, Everybody will she get spin. it? Will she get it? And I believe so. Was it worth a 10? That was definitely worth a 10. And um, her mom's here tonight in the crowd, so that's who she, she just blew a kiss to. I think she just saw her. What a routine. Not a senior, but still, anytime you see a 10. Very well deserved. She will be a big part of Georgia Gymnastics in the future, I am sure of it. Congratulations to Grace Taylor on a 10 on the bounce beam. Tough act to follow. Back, back, to, back to the floor. Here's Tatiana Thunorego from Michigan. Looking to do the same. A senior from Miami, Florida. A two-time NCAA All-American. She was an All-American second teamer on the floor exercise in 2006. This is a one and a half punch front layout for her first pass. She was a Big Ten runner-up on bars and the floor exercise back in 2007. Popa to a wolf full. Into the corner for her next pass. Double pike. Here's a look at another pass. A 9.875 for Tatiana. So really consistent scores over on floor for Michigan. You're not really seeing the 9.9s, but... When we come back, Tiffany Tolney on the beam.